Yo, 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 it's your girl Snapper, and today we're going to talk about love after lockup because it's a lot of craziness going on. But I had to write it down because I'm not really too good at names sometimes. But the first couple I want to talk about is Kevin. The way Kevin knocked out Curtis and he kept saying good night, good night. But Tiffany was wrong for not telling Kevin the truth. She should have told Kevin, look, I know we've been talking, but I've been talking to other people. Or I got this guy friend that like, it may be more serious than a friend. Like, she should have said something. Like, there's no way you just tell him, oh, don't come pick me up. And what else she said? She was like, oh, yeah, don't come pick me up. I'm good. It's like, you don't just switch up on nobody like that. That's crazy. I would have been mad, too. I feel Kevin. And then now, in the Indy is the one to me that's a special case. Like, the man just got out of jail. You got your daughter calling him poppy daddy. You trying to get married. It's psychic. It's, it's just so much you throwing at him at one time. Like, Harry is sitting there begging you. He's basically pleading. He always say, this is overwhelming. This is too much. You know, I just got out of prison, right? I feel like he crying for help. Like, all, every time I watch the show and I read comments, everybody is against Harry but he's literally telling her though the only thing I don't like about Harry is he's gangster in the green screen like my dog big gangster in the green screen but when he in front of Indy he become like a little soft I'm like but you wasn't saying that in the confessionals he like oh you gotta get with it or get left but you're not telling her that you're you saying, oh, I can't marry her. I'm not going to marry her. Our relationship has been through texting and emails and phone. I can't marry you. Okay, Harry, tell her that you can't marry her. That's crazy. Now, Chaz. Okay, Chaz, I'm not going to lie. He looks good for his age. But his little every second laugh about everything is so annoying and then you could tell he's gullible like he would believe anything that girl say oh this is crazy um yeah he like a kid in the candy store and then i cringe when his sister was talking to um his girlfriend on the phone because he's sitting there like like yes we do we do like he just overly excited it was so weird it was very weird it's crazy and then now montel he looked like he killed people i don't know i just get murder revived from montel and then he always wants the upper hand but and he gives me vibes that he's cheating or he's talking to somebody else on the side and he just trying to keep um he just trying to keep the girl he with for, like, benefits. He got a place to stay. He gets sex when he want it. I'm pretty sure she be cooking for him, doing, all, like, whatever. So, I feel like he using her for benefits. Okay, so now we on to Chance. He just super weird. That fake semi-baby voice that he do with them girls is so weird like he gave me vibes of like if they mom wasn't home he'll probably try to touch on them i don't know but he um oh yeah and the slick comments he been telling the kids like oh maybe i should get my own house and then i could be the boss or you little shrimps let me go see what's up with these little shrimps like you don't even know these kids. Somebody come up in my house calling me a shrimp? Mm. What else I got to say about Chance? Oh, yeah, then you come up in the house trying to tell her that her sister can't watch her kids no more. Who are you? Ain't no wedding ring on the finger. And even if it was a wedding ring, you still can't tell me what my sister can and cannot do with my kids that are not your biological kids. Get out of here. And then, um... And yeah, I feel like he wants Bobby out because when Bobby's out, there's no witnesses so he could start to abuse the girls or their mom because he gives me that vibe. Like, he will abuse these um, this family if, like, nobody is there. And then Taylor, I know Brittany is bringing that man around her kids. She needs to put her kids in check 
too about being in adult conversations because that little five-year-old, she's always in somebody's mouth, in somebody's conversation. Like, I'm not telling you how to parent, but like, come on now. There's no way your kids should be intervening during an argument or saying, oh, this is mommy's house, so um, I can do what I want. This is mommy's house. Like, you're a child, bro. Okay, so now we got last but not least. Antoine seems like he not really into Lacey. He just treats her like the homie. Um, like, he literally wiped the kiss off. He didn't really look excited to be with her. He looked excited to be out, but not with her. Um, she's like the mom who tries to groom her son in front of his teenage friends. Like, it's just getting weird between them. But yes, that's my review on Love After Lockup. Um, it's a lot going on. It's a lot going on. I think I'm going to just say the things that people don't want to say. I'm not holding my tongue. But yes, watch the video. Tell me how you feel. If you got the same intake I got on it, let me know. If not, let me know too. But that's okay. Like, comment, subscribe, share, and we out of here. Bye.